Hey, this is Metaphysicals, and today we're going to be taking a look at uh, the new Skyrim DLC, Dragonborn. When Lord Mirak appears, all shall bear witness. None shall stand to oppose him. You there. You're the one they call Dragonborn. You cannot... So in order to start the um, DLC, you have to have completed the quest, uh, the Horn of the Windcaller. And then in a random event, you get attacked by cultists and it starts the uh, Dragonborn quest line. So as soon as you finish off the cultist, you'll get a cultist order and uh, take some of the robes. When you read this, um, this their cultist order, it'll uh, give you the next area on the map to go to. Yeah, I haven't, uh, I just started the game, so I can't fast travel anywhere close by, so I'm just gonna steal a horse and run over there. If only in horses and scare them around that fast. Probably spent like a good 20 minutes just running over there. And committed horse suicide. A few people. I probably could have taken a carriage ride over there. It would have been a lot faster, but I don't know. I forgot about that. And here we are. A couple of boats and guy over there on the left is gonna take us to uh the new area. If you're looking for passage to Solstein, too bad. I'm not going back there anymore. Sure. Yeah, that's me. Why? Who's now nah, hold on? That wasn't my fault. I didn't know they were going to attack anybody. I don't even... It's hard to explain. I remember those people with the masks coming on board. Then... The next thing I remember... I was here. And they were gone. And that's not right, losing whole days like that. There's been something strange going on there. Yeah, I really believe they... They drugged him, sailed the ship over here, and left him alive. That makes sense. Have you been listening to me? I'm not going back there. Look, I'm sorry about your troubles, but I've got to look out for myself. I'm not going to risk it. Hold on now. I'm just a simple sailor. I never wanted to get mixed up in any of this. All right, I'll take you. But we leave immediately. Here we are, on the boat to the new island, uh, Solstheum? I, I don't know how you say that, but, uh... Yeah, well, back in Morrowind. Here we are. This is Raven Rock. I have to say, I'm all that glad to see it again. Good luck. Maybe you can figure out what's going on around here. A little achievement for making it to the island. Whoa. 
Don't mind if I throw some of the trees around here, luckily it didn't. That's something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see. A letter. Not sure who from. He wouldn't say, just that he was a friend of yours. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Yeah, and that's uh, not a part of this I don't DLC. So I'll assume this is your first visit to Ravenrock, Outlander. State your intentions. They have a really good uh, customs and border patrol I'm, here. I'm not sure. One dark elf asking you questions. Just remember, Ravenrock is sovereign territory of House Redera. This is Morrowind, not Skyrim. While you're here, you will be expected to abide by our law. It doesn't even tell you what the different laws are, that's nice. I have to. As second counselor, the security of Raven Rock is my primary concern. Remember, we are watching. Big Brother's watching, or one night elf standing on a dock, he's gonna watch you the whole time I'm here. Didn't really tell me where to go, I just saw the big shiny rock and assumed that was uh, the appropriate place. Very interesting. May I ask what it is you're doing here? Mir, Mir. It sounds familiar, and yet I can't quite place. Oh, wait, I recall. But that makes very little sense. Mir has been dead for thousands of years. <laughs> Um, a dead guy is trying to kill me. What's new? I'm not sure, but it is fascinating, isn't it? Perhaps it has some relation to what's going on here. Quite unexpected. I'm afraid I can't give you any answers, but there are ruins of an ancient temple of Nerus toward the center of Ganon. If I were you, I'd look there. My love for a dead guy in not. his temple. I so I to care with whatever is going on. And I would be able to see how this all turns out. That's that, then. Alright. I wonder if a dragon could be captured and die. It would make a fascinating test subject. Foreshadowing looks like I'm probably going to capture a lot of dragons. It is only a place of ash and wrath. It has rolling green plains and swamps and verdant hills too. I love how they decide to make everything very far from each other. They'll make your only mode of transportation to walk. It's like once you can fast travel everywhere, you've done everything, you don't really don't really need to, so there's no real point. Trucking through the forest. Seems like 90% of the game is just the ability to walk forward. I'm only like uh, level 4 in this part of the game, so most of the monsters can easily kill me. I assume most people who got the DLC are a little bit. Higher and we'll fare a better chance, but 
I actually erased all my um my saves for Skyrim. I got a new Xbox and I managed to transfer them over and instead I uh, deleted them all so that was fun. Pretty cool looking statue. Ibra, I'm here to help you. And of course, one crazy lady talking to herself. What brings you to this place? Why are you here? I can read her name, but she still is determined to tell me what her name is. My father, Storm, our shaman, says Mirak has returned to Solstheim, but that is impossible. Then you and I both have reason to see what lies beneath us. Let us go. There is nothing more I can do here. The tree stone and my friends are beyond my help for now. We need to find a way into the temple of the Lord. I didn't really notice the eerie sounding noise in the background. And, uh, of course, midway through conversation. But unlike most, he turned against them. He made his own path, and his actions cost him dear. The stories say he sought to claim Solstein for himself, and the dragon. One second is coming. It is an ancient stone of power, a connection to the Almaker. Nope, there's the dirty noise again. There it goes. Two cultists out of nowhere, I thought it'd be. Yeah, I'm, I'm on level 4, so I've decided to let her do most of the killing, which she's actually very good at. <laughs> I thought I might as well level up my archery against her because I wasn't going to hit those cultists. She was knocking them down so fast. We'll continue the rest of this, uh...